Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be a Divine Masculine check-in. Let's see what is going on with the Divine Masculine today, okay? Thank you guys for your support. Please continue to comment, share, like, subscribe. If you're a new subscriber, let me know in my comments and I will say hello to you. And I am going to just light some sage here and then do the singing hole and we will get on our way with the messages. I've got a lot of stuff, different stuff here. These were so beautifully made by uh, my friend at Fairy Tales and Cocktails. You guys can check her out, Nilsa. She's amazing. And um, she sent me a few of these, also a turquoise one. And then this beautiful butterfly is by Michelle at Wing & Bell. I love it. Okay, it's really big and heavy too. All right. See what's going on in the masculine's mental emotional and physical space here okay we're starting off with mystic moons twin flame oracles mentally we've got nostalgia this just fell on the floor okay so they're thinking a lot about the past they're maybe ruminating about the past they're thinking about this connection they're thinking about the journey and what they've been through with you as the feminine okay it is connected to their heart so they're very emotional even in their thought space okay let's see what's going on in their emotional space these cards are literally flying out of my hands today <laughs> okay let's think let's see what's going on in their emotional space the divine masculine metamorphosis okay so their heart they're having a change of heart whatever they've decided here whatever they've done they're wanting to switch course they're wanting to change their decision maybe they're having a change of heart it's pretty intense here, okay? And let's get their physical space. What's going on in their actual vicinity here? The answer is no. So I don't feel like, I feel sort of like things are not very good in their physical space. It's not, it's almost like they're saying, I don't even want you to know because it's not good. I'm not doing good, not feeling good. Um, interesting. All right, let's get some clarity for my love games. Let's get clarity on each one of these cards. All right, let's get clarity on the nostalgia. What is this nostalgia about? Blossoming. This reminds me of the metamorphosis, like the butterflies transforming, the, the flowers blossoming. This could be something related to spring, but um, this to me is also that change of heart energy. Okay, um, something is changing within them. Their mind is changing, their heart's changing, everything is shifting, maybe faster than they want to. The Sagittarius season is all about transmutation. It's a mutable sign. It's signified by Wheel of Fortune, so which is all about change. So changes are happening here. Look at this, planning next move in their heart space. So they're trying to think of what they're gonna do with this change of heart. What's their next decision? They're not happy where they're at is the feeling I'm getting, okay? So they're wanting shifts, they're wanting changes here. What is the answer is no about? Curiosity. They're, um, you know what I get from this is sort of like an ace of wands energy that's not being satisfied. So their passions aren't being satisfied. There's still more left to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like, they're not they're not satisfied they're not um there's still more left to be desired here okay than what's going on in their current life so they're kind of itching to like experience more oh my god you guys i'm so into like um disney so i, I sing a lot of disney songs to myself sometimes but i just thought of what's just around the river bend from pocahontas i don't know why but um they're looking around the bend they're like wand wandering eyes here okay Let's get some tarot. What else is going on with the divine masculine right now? They're trying to get out of their situation, whatever they're in, okay, is what I feel like. It's not what they thought it would be. It's not all it's cracked up to be. They're not having the fulfillment, like even stability-wise, finances aren't good. They don't feel like whatever they're in is something they can rely on for 
their life for their dependent like they can't depend on it it's not built on solid foundation look at that that's exactly what four of wands is about too their situation is not built on a solid foundation so they have moved may have moved forward with a partner or situation that was just seemed good in theory but it didn't quite work out here i'm getting all these reversed and i don't usually take them all reversed are they all reversed here okay so all of these are reversed so I'm gonna actually flip these over, but I'm still getting a similar story here, is that they're still seeking something that's more stable that they could stand upon, and they're still in limbo about their situation with the hangman here, okay? Pisces energy. They're still trying to find the answers. They're still not quite sure. They still know there's more that they're supposed to be learning here, okay? And I feel with the Seven of Swords, it was like self-deception. Like they convinced themselves they were doing the right thing, but they weren't. Um, they might be lying to the people involved, definitely lying to themselves or were, and they feel like they have a decision that they have to make here. They feel like they're juggling two different energies, two different realities, two different parts of themselves. And <clears throat> this one, I, I'm going to take reverse because I flipped the deck over and this came out reverse. I feel like they're getting tired with this battle. They're getting tired of trying to prove themselves. They're feeling like they're just not in the mood to fight this battle anymore whatever it is whatever point they were trying to prove by the decisions they made maybe they're trying to let their ego go i'm gonna put the fan on here it's really hot let's get a few more tarot here Duke of Fire, this is a Divine Masculine, that's an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, okay? This is a King of Wands, this is someone who knows what they want, they know what their passions are, they go after what they want, they take action. So I feel like they're eventually here, like I said, Sagittarius energy is coming up strong. For Just in this reading, I'm getting a lot of Sag type energy, we are in Sag season. But they're ready to... They're getting ready to take action that they're gonna step outside of this like this space that they're not happy in. We've got another four here. Four of Pentacles is all about holding on tight. It's about, to me, like an inflexibility. And I feel like this requires them to let go of some, I feel like it's they have to have an ego death, honestly. And I feel like they are having an ego death because they're being shined the light on things that they thought were positive there's some other cards in here this is yellow rose friendship joy caring affection we have a jealousy type energy twice it could be that they're sensing there's something going on with the feminine where she's involved with another person and they're starting to that jealousy is igniting the fire within them okay they could be sensing something is going on there okay we're gonna pull oh i meant to say you know in the beginning what was the word there okay so i'm going to use twin flame shadows for mystic moon but a word that was coming to my mind before i started the reading was uh, misguided so we have to have forgiveness for the masculine because we give their decisions a lot of credence like we think they were thought out we think they were made from a higher level and the fact that they're in a hangman energy shows that they weren't actually enlightened or awakened when they made these decisions so we can't put so much weight on them and we have to forgive them for being misguided because they didn't have all the answers even if we want to glorify them they just didn't okay shocking something could have happened very like a shift here a wheel of fortune energy something just totally shifted in their life we have all those action cards then we have non-action with the butterfly the reason they haven't taken the action yet is because they're still in the metamorphosis, okay? They're still going through this, but there's something either shocking that's happened or that's going to happen that's going to be like a tower moment. We've got warning here. So this is a warning for you guys that I feel like just know that something is going to happen in the masculine's life here, okay? Because it's... it's it's a, it's a tumultuous time right now, okay? Things are changing. Just expect the unexpected is what I'm getting, okay? I'm gonna pull from the path to self-expression from extrasensory empress. What are some of the other energies around the masculine here? Got tattoo artist. Now, 
this could be your person. Is this another butterfly? But this to me is also like permanence versus impermanence. They might feel like the decisions they made, they can't undo, but they can. But they view it almost like they permanently altered this situation, okay? Cybersecurity, that could be that somebody um, saw something on their phone or on their computer or they saw some shocking thing. Maybe the person they chose they thought was completely loyal to them and something happened shocking here with the phone, with, you know, seven of swords, someone discovered like a lie or something that someone was hiding here and flying. Okay, so... This to me is also a, that butterfly energy where they just want to get away, they want to fly away. Something with travel could be you or your person. And we've got artificial intelligence. This seems to want to come up a lot in my reading. So to me, this is like the mask that they wear, okay? Let's get some energies about unexpected gifts from my unexpected gift deck. What are some unexpected things that are gonna happen? with the Divine Masculine since we had shocking. Cozy nights, okay? So you guys might end up having intimacy or cozy nights with someone you didn't anticipate here. Commitment, wow. Okay, so you guys might not think this could happen, but this is something unexpected that could happen. They could offer you a commitment. They could come forth in a way they never came before, okay? And abundance. So you guys keep being in this vibration of expecting abundance. You know, if you've had negative things happen to you in your life before, have a shift of perspective and believe that things that you've never experienced can happen and tell yourself that and use affirmations, okay? Let's get some other moods of the masculine. Snooping. We already had cybersecurity. So maybe they saw something with the feminine and that's caused them jealousy. We had jealousy twice. Then we have disconnected, lonely, isolated. They may be spending a lot of time alone. They may be wanting a cozy night with the feminine here. Their heart might be yearning for a commitment with the feminine. They're feeling like now they realize what they lost. You guys, we had nostalgic twice, okay? So nostalgic, missing, yearning, and reflecting. So definitely there's some energy of a shift going on. And there's this tower moment with my cards here, okay? All right. So... We're gonna end with some sensual, sweet, angelic messages from my deck here and see what the masculine wants to say to the feminine here. These two fell on the ground. You are so sexy. You are the one I would pursue if I could. Okay, so they're feeling like they made the wrong decision. You're the one that got away, okay? if I could. So something feels like it's preventing them and that's why they're in that hangman energy. I am wishing you were here right now or you were here tonight, okay? So they're attracted to you. They wanna have cozy nights with you. They feel stuck. They wanna fly away. With you, with just a slight touch, you send shivers down my spine, okay? Definitely wanting intimacy with you here, okay? There's a, a, an attraction, a sexual vibration that you guys have between each other. And let me just get one more card. Nobody does it for me the way that you do. So they may have tried to be with other people and it just, nothing compares. All right, let's get some letters here. Got M H U D L and N. You guys can't see. All right. And some charms. We've got angel wings, a dolphin, another P. You guys, I'm always saying Paul. I got to come up with a different P name. Panther just popped in my head, not like for a name, but angel wings. Okay, we have angel wings there too, the peace sign. Can you guys see these? The Z, zebra. All right, so I do feel like this is like, there's a very angelic energy around the connection right now, peaceful, loving energy. They're sending you peace. They're sending you love. P, Z, let's get a little bit more. We've got the key and the coin that says Queen Elizabeth II, two keys. All right, so you guys have like the key to each other's heart. 
and something, this is like to me like a pentacle, but also Queen Elizabeth could mean something to you. All right, guys, so that's your reading. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.